Okay, in this video, we're going to do uh, a uh, table seven uh, problem, uh, calculate the distance off its second bearing. Okay, and we'll be using uh, table seven of Bowditch 2, 1981. Different editions of Bowditch, the table will be a different number, uh, but uh, that's, that's the one we're using here. Okay, so great. All right, so we're steaming on a course of 114 at 17 knots. At 1122, we observe a lighthouse bearing 077. At 1133, the lighthouse bears 051. What is your distance off at the time of second bearing? Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up, uh, I got a little system that I use for this, okay? Um, and so uh, we're going to have, uh, over here we're going to have course. We're going to have um, uh, uh, true bearing, okay? And then we're going to have relative bearing. So we're going to calculate that. A lot of times you have to uh, calculate these things. And then we're going to have bearing one. I'm going to have bearing two. I'm going to have time over here. Okay. And I'm anticipating that I might have four factors uh, we, and we'll deal with that as they come along. So I'm going to go factor one, factor two, factor three, factor four. Okay. And I'm going to sum those and then I'll divide by the number of factors. We'll have to see what that is. And then that will give me my ratio right here. And then over here, um, my uh, time, I'm going to calculate what my time is, and then I'm going to multiply that by uh, the speed, which in this case is 17 knots, 17 divided by 60, okay, and that's a conversion factor there, okay, so, uh, all right, now I am ready to go, uh, and then eventually I'm going to take this number, this distance, okay, so I'm going to take this, the, the time, and I'm going to take the speed, Okay, so the time's going to drop down here. This is my speed divided by 60 um, to uh, get it. Uh, um, that, that's my conversion factor. And then uh, I'm going to multiply that distance times that factor, and uh, I'm going to get down there. Okay, anyway, enough. Let's do the problem. Okay, so you're steaming on a course of 114. So I go 114, 114. All right. And at 1122, that's my second time. So the, uh, I'm going to put it down lower. Okay, because, uh, you know, the next number is going to be later. So I'll put it up at the top, 1133. So it just makes the math a little bit easier. Okay, 1122, 1133, what's the difference between those two? It's 11 minutes. Okay, so now my distance I can calculate by 11 minutes times 17 over 60. Okay, uh, and we'll get to that in just a minute. All right, so I got 114. My true bearing uh, you observe a lighthouse bearing 077. That was the first bearing. Okay, uh, 077. And then the next one is 051. So now I got to do a little bit of calculator action here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the, I'm going to take the, the true course and the true bearing and I'm going to convert them into a relative bearing by just doing a little subtraction. Okay, so 114 minus 77. And that gives me 37. Okay, so that's 37 degrees off the bow. And then 114 minus 51. And that gives me 63 degrees off the bow. Okay, now I'm going to go into the table to get my factors. Okay, so uh, I have to go to this table here. And uh, of course, I want 3763. Well, there's 36 and 38. There is no 37. And there's a 60 and a 60. Uh, what is that, 63? There's a 62 and a 64. So enter the table with the difference between first course and first bearing. That's this. Enter the difference between the course and second bearing, okay? So uh, I'm going to have to do some interpolation. So uh, what I'm going to need to do here is I'm going to need to go to 36, 38, okay? And then I'm going to do 62, 64. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get 36, 62, 36, 64, then I'm going to go in again, I'm going to get 38, 62, 38, 64, and those are going to be my four factors right here. Okay, so 37, I'm going to start with 36, 62. So here's 36, and remember, this is second bearing, okay? So um, what column am I? One or two, okay? I'm the first column because it's second bearing, strange but true. The beam is the second column. So I'm going to be this first column, whatever I choose. So 36, I'm going to be in this column. And now I'm going to go to 62, 36, 62. And it looks like 36, 62 
and 36.64 are these two, okay? So my first factor is 1.34. My second factor is 1.25. Okay, and now I've done those two. Now I'm going to switch to 38. I'm going to get 38.62, 38.64. So I come to 38, first column. So then I'm going to get these two factors, okay? So 1.51 and 1.4. Okay, great. So I've got my four factors. Now I'm going to do a, a quadruple interpolation just by adding them up and dividing by four, okay? So uh, because there's four factors, I'll divide by four. So 1.34 plus 1.25 plus 1.51 plus 1.40 equals 5.5. So that's the sum. And I'm going to divide by four. So divide by four. Uh, 1.375 okay so that's the ratio okay uh, 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 for my uh, uh, distance off at second bearing okay it's 1.35 times the distance that I ran now the distance that I ran was 11 times 17 divided by 60 oops uh, clear 11 times 17 divided by 60 and that's equal to 3.11 yeah all that fun stuff okay so the distance is 3.1 okay so now i'm going to do is i'm going to multiply that times okay uh times that 1.375 and that's going to be my distance off so times 1.375 okay equals and it's 4.28 4. Point, yeah 4.3 okay so i should be about 4.3 miles off at time of the second bearing okay so that was just a quick down and dirty if you didn't really understand that uh you should go and uh look at the video that, that describes table seven in more detail